What's going on guys? It's your boy My Makes Money and today I want to talk about why I invested all my money into Polygon Matic. I think I invested around a little bit over 9k. Um I remember I sold two of my NFTs for um a total of $8900 and those were my most valuable NFTs. I really don't have anything left or not really going to sell any of them for the near future. Uh, hopefully they do go up in price but i'm not really expecting too much from them and now i think i've been dollar cost averaging into polygon matic ever since a dollar and about 70 cents around there and for this past week it's been a crazy wild ride and especially with the crypto space with the new variants and also a black friday deal on friday i think it was uh do remember that happening that was like last week and crypto has not been the same since um it definitely sucks and i think there was a major dip today also because of the new uh, inflation rate i think it was like 0.1 percent higher than last month which was already ready insane um i think the new inflation rate was at 6.8 percent in last month uh it was a 6.7 percent which just blew numbers out of the water um, Bitcoin did go up, but now it just dropped back down and I've still been just investing almost all my money into Polygonmatic. It has been a wild, wild ride. I think I'm doing the best that I can. It's been going well and I just had an amazing or not amazing, just an overwhelming urge to invest all my money into Polygonmatic. I know I cannot explain it, but it it's just been, t I've been telling myself or I just have this feeling that I will I will regret it if I do not invest my money into Polygon Matic. And so far has been going well. Even though the crypto space has dropped tremendously, which definitely does suck. But crypto is very volatile. When you look at Bitcoin being down 14% in the past week, Ethereum down 10%, um, Binance 8%, and even Solana down 20%. 4%. I think this is an amazing buying opportunity for myself personally. None of this is financial advice. I'm only speaking for myself, but there's just so many things that I feel like I want to buy. I don't I don't think this is going to last in my opinion or this dip um just because I think there's just so much more room for crypto to grow. Hey, I'm not going to say that crypto is going to go up forever. It does have to come down and who knows? This could have been the top, but you know what? I'm not an expert in any sort of way, but just from personal opinion, my feelings, um, I still believe that crypto has so much more room to grow and seeing how the US economy has been having major, real, a lot of inflation in 2020, I think there was like an inflation rate of like 35%. And I think in the 2021, there was over 20% in inflation. I think it is way more than that, but I'm just going to say that for the low end, there has been so much inflation and looking at cars, bro, if you know, if you've know you been looking at the car market at all, you already know that you're going to have to spend an exorbitant amount of money, meaning that a lot. I think I said it wrong, but I try to do my best. You had to spend a lot of money just to get a somewhat of a, a shitty car. All right. Um, you can buy like a 2008 Honda for like 9,000. That's what I've been looking at. But I know that's a horrible, horrible price. And it, going, sorry, I'm sidetracked. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, the inflation rate is insane. My chicken nuggets that I love getting have almost doubled in price. And honestly, I haven't been getting, I, when I get a job, it's, it, the wage hasn't really increased that much, but everything else has been going up. So I think that, uh, cryptocurrency could be a hedge against inflation maybe for some people for some people maybe uh like me i think that cryptocurrency is not only a way of life not meaning that i'm going to live my life for cryptocurrency um but i feel like a new source of income and maybe even turning this into a full-time job i know that i'm still in the early stages but um i have so many ideas on what i can do with this crypto space or what um, is possible and I just see that there's just so much more growth and I don't see crypto falling down anytime soon so I feel like me putting a lot of my money into Polygonmatic it did it has gone pretty well I've been dollar cost averaging 
um putting like a hundred dollars every time i can i think i did this morning i've done it a couple of times this uh past week every time i see a polygon matic at a good price i always try to buy some more and i think there's just so much more room to grow um this uh just past yesterday um december 9th i believe there was the summit and they did acquire um mer which is a layer two solution for ethereum i think it uses zk rollups and they acquired it for about 400 to it was either 400 or 500 million i believe which is a lot but i just saw two conflicting articles one from yesterday and one from today um today was like 500 um and i just think that polygon has done so much more has done so much growth this past year and especially when it comes to nfts i just feel like i've seen it happen to where um an nft dap or a decentralized application has grown so much once they go into a layer two solution because i think it just increases the trading volume because people are not worried about buying something that's a hundred dollars let's just take this for example they buy something for a hundred dollars and next thing you know it goes up to 120 dollars and then if they want to sell it and secure their profit they're going to lose money because most likely the transaction fee are going to be the transaction fee is going to be like fifty dollars so they wanted to make like twenty dollars in profit realistically they're going to lose what seven or they're going to be at seventy dollars so they're going to lose thirty dollars and potential money just from something that could have been almost free on other blockchains which kind of sucks because on binance the transaction fees are like a dollar i believe and on solana is less than a cent and you know well i don't even want to look at uh the 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 way needed to perform a transaction on ethereum is just so insane and i remember i always I, I talk about this a lot but um recently i sold one of my nfts for around 300 dollars and i had to pay a 200 dollar transaction fee just to sell it and the only reason i did it was just so i can get my uh my ethereum on weath which is a wrapped ethereum and just meaning that it's like the same type of cryptocurrency but just no transaction fees and switching over to a layer two i think it could have been like you know i'm not the best when it comes to this but just knowing that i could have made 300 dollars, but in reality i basically lost 200 dollars for something that could have been free and it or not free but close to free and seeing that this polygonmatic in my urge since like the past two months ago i've been urging myself to put all my money into polygonmatic so seeing um that um the money i made from nfts um the money i'm making from work and just putting it all into polygonmatic it's been doing very well it's well when you care compare it to the crypto space um i think at all-time high my portfolio went up to like 12k which i'm very happy about it's been a blessing just seeing that number i didn't see when it exactly happened when it exactly happened i wish i sold some maybe like 2k and because now uh, the prices did dip so i just wish i could have had more money on the side to reinvest in and get into a low uh, get in at a lower a price but you know it's it's a learning experience and i'm very thankful for that um there's been so many things that have happened in the, the crypto space life-changing money i believe it's just being made a, like so like a lot of the time it seems like it's a lot and especially fomo uh fear missing out things that you probably would have been able to buy at a cheaper price but it just has exploded i think there's just so much of that in the crypto space and i feel like there's really just a community here that is really just getting start uh just starting to be built and i think there's just life-changing money to be made here so i don't see this going away anytime soon especially when it comes to uh the average investor that i think is just someone like i want to say us because i don't know who's watching i can't i don't know if you are maybe in some same situation as i am or you could be like a secret millionaire i do not know um but i think like, people that really love cryptocurrency are going to be here to stay um especially if you've been into cryptocurrency for over a year you've seen how much growth there is and maybe if you got into anything other than bitcoin and ethereum 
um i definitely think that those people that have gotten into altcoins really know the 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 potential that there is in cryptocurrency uh, you can get into a random one like i want to say cardano but getting into solana and getting into the ecosystem uh dogecoin or shiba any if you got into shiba any last year you're probably like a millionaire um billionaire even bro because that went up insanely um but there's so many uh ecosystems if you got into axie infinity i feel like that game is just amazing and seeing how how much growth happened because it did get onto a layer two solution this game went from like this cryptocurrency went from less than a dollar last year to over a hundred dollars just because their in their growth when it comes to that layer two solution that happened in march they just had so much they just had an explosion of players just because it made it less frictionless and he didn't have to really worry about money because everything was on the layer two it was using ethereum which is one of the biggest cryptocurrencies and i would i wouldn't say uh internet money in a way but knowing that polygon matic is basically the butter to ethereum's bread i definitely think that you know its potential is just just I want to say limitless, but it just has a lot. I just believe in it so much, and I'm just very happy with it. I'm looking how um, it's up today. I I don't know what my portfolio is at right now, but uh, I'll just wait. I'll just wait because I definitely think that this this fear and uncertainty in the market may go away. Um, just because I don't think anything major caused it. Nothing bad for. Bitcoin other than inflation, which I don't know if it ter uh, took down the uh, stock market. Um, I don't really pay attention to stocks anymore, but just seeing how much growth there is and could be in the future. That's the reason why I got into a Polygon, just that overwhelming urge that I've been I've had since like Polygon was a dollar and I miss I missed out on a 2x return, which honestly, I don't mind because that urge is telling me that there's so much more room to grow. None of this is financial advice because honestly, this this urge does not come from me looking at technicals or anything like that. But just just this feeling that I have to really invest into Polygon Matic, it is it's just overwhelming, and I'm very thankful that I got into it. It may sound very stupid, but um, I believe in it so much, and it, it's it's crazy. So it's your boy, Matt makes money, also known as Boonky. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and. Peace.